Good morning. It's still morning here by me. Brethren, sisters in Church of Living God, hello. Well, apparently there's some snot nosed, arrogant, lying little punk out there who has nothing better to do with his time than to go after the little people. Because, you know, he himself is way up here. Uh, above everyone else, an arrogant little snot-nosed punk who needs to get his mouth slapped and also needs to be dandled over his daddy's knee and have a twitch taken to his rear end. Snot-nosed, arrogant little punk that he is. <laughs> but, nonetheless, never mind that. Never mind that. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. One of the most arrogant, see that, that's why, that's why 20 year olds shouldn't be in positions that a uh, certain little punk has put himself into. Because his accomplishments that he would rub in your face if challenged, um, has gone straight to his head. Yeah. Yeah, what a punk. But, never mind that. Never mind that. Please, get your authorized version of the scriptures. And please, turn with me in your authorized version of the scriptures to Psalm 94. Follow me along, word for word, verse by verse, at the scriptures that we are going to be looking at today. Follow me along. Check me out. Keep me accountable. Make sure I'm not lying to you like some other little punks out there who lie to your face and say that charity means liberty. <laughs> and he does that, of course, to defend, uh, to justify his pagan worship of the Catholic God one day in the year. That's why he does that. <laughs> but enough of that. Enough of that. Got bigger fish to fry than some little blowhard, little 20 something year old, something year old little punk boy. <laughs> Got bigger things to worry about. Got bigger things to do. But please, follow me along in the scriptures today that we will be looking at. Follow me along word for word, verse by verse, what we're going to be looking at. Check me out. Keep me accountable. Follow me along in the scriptures that we will be looking at today, okay? Now, like I said, we are going to be going through Psalm 94. We're going to be having some expository um, uh, things here within this psalm. I'm just going to share with you the things that the Lord has shared with me. Okay? So please, follow me along. Oh, oh, and, and before we begin, begin in this... Hey, Bob. You're quite the sensationalist, you know. Jumping on the bag bandwagon to get more views or something like that? Come on, Bob. Come on. I expect a little bit more from you than that. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Enough of that. Okay. Follow me along. Psalm 94. Beginning at verse 1. And this is something that I, I, and all of us, I, for, for what information came to me last night, um, right away, this first verse, this first verse, the Lord's like, oh, Brad, yes, Lord, don't overcome evil with evil, but overcome evil with good. What is good? Our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. And how do you find out what is good? through the scriptures, the authorized version. The Lord, in the very first verse, the Lord rebuked me because I was pretty prepared to, you know, to get the OBS uh, and have my face up there and just slam this snot-nosed little arrogant punk. Uh, but, Psalm 94, verse 1. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shoot thyself. Oh, I want to get even. I could do so pretty well, I think. 
But it's not for us to get even. Even though we want to. Ugh. It's not for us to get even. Hi! I'm reminding myself as we, uh, as we go through this. Turn with me in Deuteron to Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verses 31 on to verse 38. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verses 31 on to verse 38. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Uh, Deuteronomy 32, verses 31, on verse 38. Their rock, little, K, little case R, is not as our rock, capital R. Okay? <laughs> Even our enemies themselves being judges. Their little our rock is better known as mammon. Not there. I, I, when I say that, I say I have in my mind that little punk. But there are others out there whose little little our rock is mammon. Okay. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. I struggle with bitterness. Someone smacks me, I want to smack you back. I really do. But that's not how we're supposed to operate. <laughs> you know? Like I have said before, you fight fire with fire, what wins? Fire does. But yours burns just a little bit hotter than your opponent's, right? Hmm. Now, there's a time and a place for, like, self-defense and whatnot. But, you know, their clusters are bitter. I have struggled with being bitter. I, I Absolutely, I have, and I, I admit it. I, I struggle every single day with pride. Oh, the Lord chastens me hard. Whether my heart starts acting up, or my tooth starts acting up, or things, little bumps along the way happen here, the Lord chastens me sore. Praise the Lord for it. But I'm here to tell you, bitterness is a great best left off not to eat. Learn from the example. Because, what does this say? Their clusters are bitter. Their wine <laughs> is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asps. Their wine, the wine that comes out of that wine press is the poison of dragons. Yeah, and the cruel venom of asps. Yeah. <laughs> is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures. And we have these things hidden in earthen vessels. Okay? Our treasure as the church of God. Our treasure is our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Hidden here within us. Okay? Put your name here <laughs> before we read this. Brad? Your name, whatever it is, to me belongeth vengeance and recompense with the C. Okay? C, denoting a noun. Okay? Person, place, or thing. Recompense with an S is a verb. Okay? Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. Vengeance belongs to the Lord, not to us. And it feels good. It tastes sweet when we get even. But what do you do with this? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense, not us. See, when we take matters into our own hands to get revenge, vengeance, 
we try to, play to take the place of, of God as if we are God himself. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, Where are their gods? Their little case are rock in whom they trust. Which did, eat, uh, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings, let them rise up and help you and be your protection. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. See, because, like I say, when you fight fire with fire, fire wins. But then again, remember, yours burns a little bit hotter, right? It's not... It's not for it's not for me to get even. Oh, I want to. Oh, 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 I want to. But it's not for me to get even. It isn't. We have to let the little boys play as the little boys play on the schoolyard that they never left. We really do. And boy, they they want to bring you back onto that schoolyard so that they can play. You know, you know something that our enemies do really well? They, they disguise adolescence as manhood. I, I had to write this down. And schoolyard bullying as dialogue. Hmm. Our enemies do that very well. Disguise manhood, which is actually adolescence. And schoolyard bullying as if it were dialogue. Watch out for those who keep telling you, I want to start dialogue with you. That, that's a red flag, by the way. Okay. Now, also, go to Psalm 9. Okay. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Psalm 9. Psalm 9. Psalm 9. We want verses 16 on to verse 20. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higieon Shalah. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. Judgment. Whether it be vengeance there would be mercy. Have you ever have you ever stopped and realized that Lord the Lord's mercy is a form of judgment? Have you ever thought about that? And his mercy endureth forever? He would much rather be merciful than afflict. But see, those who are actually his, he afflicts for to chasten us for our betterment. That we be not condemned with the wicked. I wonder where uh, some of these uh, little boys, where their chastisement is. I wonder. <laughs> the wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God. And of course... America has long forgotten God, but they remember the little G God of this world. Yeah, the God given to them by Catholicism, Satan, okay? For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Oh, amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Look, look, look at that verse. Let not man prevail. You know, if I were to do a video and have my little fave picture up here and looking at that little punk's uh, uh, channel and just slamming him, well, Brad, you're doing a pretty good job right now. Not as I had originally thought I was going to do until the Lord rebuked me with that first verse. <laughs> I was going to let that little punk have it. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy, nothing like what you are seeing. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, she myself. Hmm. Let not man prevail. If I were to get even, I would be getting even. Man would be prevailing, wouldn't he? Those of you out there who are struggling with that, wanting to get even, like I said, that's you smack me, I want to smack you back. That's the way I that's the way I have been. But as the church of the living God, that can't be. I mean, excluding self-defense, okay? Not not you know, we're not talking about this satanic uh, ideology called uh, pacifism, okay? That's satanic. Okay? Someone's going to butcher you with a baseball bat or run you over in a drunken stupor. Do what you got to do to defend yourself. Okay? Do that. Okay? Uh, somebody coming at you with a butcher knife? Defend yourself. Absolutely. Okay? But vengeance. Getting even. It's not our place to do so. It's not our place to do so. Verse 20. Put them in fear, O Lord that the nations may know themselves to be but men Selah. Hey, little boy. Hey, little punk. You do realize that you're just a man, right? No, you're not even a man. You're a little boy. You're a little baby boy. Yeah. 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 Think you're something, you think you're something great. God's gift to the body of Christ, right? You made a game. Two books. And now because, uh, what's his name at, uh, now the end begins, chafed your little buttocks, you're like, well, I'm going to show him. And you pattern your own sight pretty much similar to his. You do remember that you're just a little boy, right? <laughs> the way you act, I, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Because you get pats on the head by someone who you exalt as a god. I feel bad for you, little boy. There's a lot of potential there. A lot of potential there. But see, as I've known from the moment, I speak with you. See, it takes one to know one. It takes one who struggles daily with pride with some little arrogant punk who doesn't struggle at all with it. And of course, you know, O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shoot thyself. Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 2. Okay. Romans chapter 2. You know, I had a video where I used censored cursing. This little boy used the word hell as a curse in the video too. Hmm. Very interesting. I publicly repented of that. But see, a little boy like that. See. There are, you know, by the way, there are exceptions to that. Rare exceptions. You know? Little rabbit here. I thought for the longest time that a fine young Scotsman would be a fine preacher. And maybe he will one day. And I had long accepted my responsibility even though I didn't hold the boy at gunpoint you, you gotta remember that um, I encouraged a certain young Scotsman to do something that he wasn't really ready for and that I take my responsibility for that okay I, I do I take my responsibility for that and if you are watching dear young Scotsman again again forgive me for doing that to you okay all right but see he wasn't prepared. And I, you know, thought he was the exception of the rule. And I sinned. I, I should not have bolstered him up. I should not have uh, pushed like that. But then again, you got to remember, it's not like he was held at gunpoint. You got to remember that. You are going to give an account for your own choices, for your own things that you have done in your life, okay? You will not be able to blame what well, was his fault because no one held a gun to your head, okay? But this is why, unfortunately, people who are in their mid-twenties 
should not be in such an elevated position. There are ex uh, exceptions to that rule. There are. You know, and everyone points to Timothy. Well, Timothy was brought up in, in the scriptures, okay? He was brought up with the scriptures. A little bit different, okay? A little bit different than some little young punk who was brought up in affluence, okay? So, but I, I just wanted to mention that, okay? There, there are exceptions. There are exceptions. They are very rare. They are very rare, okay? And most of the youngins that have taken a stab at this that I have seen do fall into the con into the category of being lifted up because they're young and you know they, they you don't know everything little boy you ain't nothing you what, what, have, you, what have you been through what have, what uh, your credit card is maxed out because of some reason that mommy and daddy didn't help you with Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. O Lord God, to whom, I can't read that. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, for, belongeth, shew thyself. Forgive me for letting a little bit of my temper get the best of me. Okay? Romans chapter 2, verses 5 on the verse 11. But after thy hardness and impentient heart, treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath, and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient continuance and well-doing seek for glory and honor, immortality, eternal life, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. Okay? Our obedience affects certain things of how our life will be not our salvation okay once you come to the lord on his terms broken and contrite and in fear of him call upon the name of the lord you know you don't boot the door out of the way and climb up some other way and interesting enough you changed your channel name again wow wow your ways are moving never mind about you never mind never mind i expected more from you i really did I really did. That, that's, you know, you should try to grow up yourself sometime, old man. Okay? But, okay? Yes, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. If the church of the living God and you don't want to do what the scripture says, hey, you have, you have the liberty to do that. Yes, you do. Because you're not worth the gunpoint. But it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you dearly. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil to the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile for there is no respect of persons with God. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good. Do not reward evil with evil, but reward evil with good. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth. O God, to whom... Oh, we're back in Psalm 94. O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Psalm 31. A reward to the proud. The judge of the whole earth, who is our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Psalm 31, verses 18 on to verse 24. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. <laughs> Some of the things that... Now granted, I was not the main focal point of this little punk's uh, video. 
Uh, he even mentioned the Kraken, which I'm sure sent him uh, into outer space. <laughs> but I was not the main. I was kind of like an afterthought. It's fine. He, he, you know, he's got all his pennies. He's got accounts, right? But his his main uh, thrust was of Mr. Philip Newton. Okay, I was like an afterthought. Okay, whatever, whatever. But he he lied. He lied. Okay. He lied about videos that the Lord had had me to do uh, about birthdays. He, he said that I'm against birthdays. And in the video that the Lord had me to do on, on birthdays, uh, did I not say in that very video that I give my wife a card for her birthday and do say, hey, you know, I'm glad that the Lord, you know, the anniversary of your birth, okay? Praise the Lord. Uh, yeah, and I even take my wife out to dinner on her birthday, okay? Yeah, yeah. So see, the boy lied about uh, lied about that, and also to this thing because he's that that boy's lost. I think you're lost, little punk. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I think you're lost. I really do. I really do. But he also said about the thing about the flesh of Jesus Christ, and he brought up uh, verses of scripture, which have have already been covered. Okay, but see, he's too busy. He, he's, you know, he's got a, you know, like pinky in the brain. What are we going to do tomorrow? Brain, uh, try to uh, rule the world. Yeah, um, doesn't have the time to go through one of the videos the Lord gave me to do with the scriptures himself to see the truth of the matter. Because he's too busy, but he lied again. He lied again. And he said that there were certain things to, uh, like, uh, you know, that we were saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Not We were d redeemed by, uh, not by corruptible things, but by the precious blood of Christ. Yeah, little boy, that's long been covered. Yeah, by the blood, not the flesh, you little idiot. Yes, yes. But sh sh see, see, I I I'm letting myself get ahead of myself there. God, do what the scripture says. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing that this little boy lied about. See, and this is the height of the... Wait, 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 wait. Getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. Well, we're going to be addressing that in the very next couple of verses. So, let's continue in Psalm 31, verses 18 on to verse 24. Let the lying lips be put to silence which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strives of tongues. Let them alone. Well, let him talk. Hi, I gotta remember that. What the first verse said. Lord rebuked me heavily when I read that verse. It's like, oh boy. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shewed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Little boy, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're getting loads and loads of money. I really do. I hope you, you're doing successfully and that you uh, get married to that fine young woman. Hopefully you do not corrupt her. Uh, I, I hope you do. I hope everything is going well for you. Because if you don't repent of that pride, little boy, you're probably going to be ending up at the great white throne of judgment. Such a waste. Such a waste. Verses 3 and 4 in Psalm 94. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? 
How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. Boast themselves. You confront this little punk. I'm telling you. You know what he would do? He'd take his accomplishments and he would love them in your face. And then he'd justify it by saying, well, Paul did that. Yeah, after constant barrage. First offense, love into your face. That's what they do. That's what people like that do. That's what people who are in pride, that's what they do. They, they're going to rub in your face what they have done. They're going to shame you by the number and multitude of their accomplishments. As if you needed to be reminded. Hmm? Uh, and for this, uh, a couple of one verse uh, references here. Proverbs 20, not Isaiah Brad. Proverbs 20. <laughs> Proverbs 20, verse 6. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. But a faithful man, who can find? What well, are you faithful to, little boy? <laughs> That guy out northwest, right? Yeah, that's what you're faithful to, little boy. Yeah, yeah. And also Psalm 27. Psalm 27, verses 1 and 2. Boast not thyself of tomorrow. For thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee. And not thine own mouth. A stranger, and not thine own mouth. Let another man praise thee. Not thyself. I'm telling you, you, you scratch a guy like that kid, you just scratch him right in your face with how great he is. You know what he would do? He would, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, okay? Prove me wrong, little boy. <laughs> uh, Luke chapter 18, verses 10 under verse 14. This is what, this is the temperament of these people who do things in a prideful fashion. Luke chapter 18, verses 10 on to verse 14. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. I have done this. I have done that. I have done all this. What have you done? <laughs> and the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I do that in prayer. But I, I do on my knees. I, I say, ah! you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, you can't believe I did that. Or, ah, I can't believe. Oh, Lord, why do you put up with me? I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 3, just, just one verse, okay? Just one verse. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. Yes. For if man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Oh, and he said in the video, apparently, I didn't watch the whole thing, uh, so like I said, a beloved friend, a true friend and brother, sent me uh, this video, which came out at midnight my time last night. Uh, they they rest not unless they cause mischief and or they rest not unless they do mischief and cause some to fall mm. Mm. Weird. and within we're like time stamp things 
of uh, where this specific little punk spake specifically of yours truly. Like I said, he, he really got something against Mr. Philip, Philip Newton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the boy can dish it out, but he can't take it, can he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, again, for if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. This, this young man lied, and this is what I take great issue with. This little punk said that I watch his master's videos and even his own. And then this little punk has the audacity to imply that everything that I have learned came from his master and even himself. Hey, little boy. How do you think you are, huh? Oh, no, well, not for me, but for my master. He's like, see, this is the same thing that a lot of people call people like you Denlingerites. Who, 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 he lied. I don't watch his holiness. I haven't watched him since what, uh, December? And it had been a long time since I listened to his little pit bull, that little motor mouth little punk. Oh, I can't, I can't stand him. And you know, dear Frankie boy up there, he likes to pick on me that I have an annoying voice. But hey, at least I can uh, formulate complete sentences every once in a while, right? <laughs> but he lied. Implying that everything that I've ever learned, I learned from his master. And even from him himself. O Lord God to whom vengeance belongeth, O God to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch his videos, and I surely don't watch yours, little boy. I skimmed through the one you made last night because it was sent to me by a brother without a title. And it's like when a brother sends me something, especially without a title, or who it's from, because he wanted me to see it. And, and thank you, dear brother, my friend, thank you. Um, and I saw it. It's like, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, you lie, little boy. <laughs> as far as learning things from your master, yes, I have learned some things from your master. I even told him so in an email. You know what the one thing I learned from your master the most was how to go about defending the redemption of the purchased possession. Okay? I freely admit that. I freely admit that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? Don't, don't, uh, don't flatter yourself, little boy, like you're doing. You're flattering yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, these guys, you know, they watch our videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't break your arm trying to pat yourself on your own back there, little punk. Please. Okay? But, now see, 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 see how I'm behaving? I'm being very aggressive. You know what I'm not doing? O God to whom vengeance belongeth, O God to whom vengeance belongeth, shoot thyself. I'm pretty sure everything is going well for you, little boy. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Good for you. May you have never have to suffer the things that most people will have to suffer. Because you have wealthy family to fall back on. Yeah. Hopefully you won't go through the losing of your house. Hopefully you won't go through having your electricity go, go, shut off or have a refrigerator barren and you can't afford to put food in it. And because you don't meet certain requirements of the state, okay, they won't assist you or anything with food. But then again, you call that sin. And try to find a job. Trying to find a job 
where you don't have to do uh, a COVID test. A COVID test or a job where a vaccine is required. You know how many jobs out there, before you even get into the door, want you to take one of them things up your nose and take a PCR test? I hope you don't have to go through anything that the common, you know, the exoteric people have to go through, you little punk! Because you're, you're a part of the esoteric, remember? God help you, boy. God help you, boy. God help you. God help you. Now let's continue. In Psalm 94. They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. Okay, where, what are we? Oh, to verse 8. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? Ooh, understand, understand, ye brutish among the people. Second Peter, Second Peter chapter 2. Second Peter chapter two. There are they, they're of the world. Therefore they speak of things of the world, and the world hears them. Yeah. Second Peter chapter two, verses twelve on to verse seventeen. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are, and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Having eyes full of adultery, and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling and unstable souls, and heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children. Cursed children. which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bosor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass, speaking with man's voice, forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. And also, of course, Jude. Jude. Oh, but before we go to Jude, um, especially, especially, okay, especially this little boy, uh, Second, uh, First Corinthians chapter two, okay, Second Corinthians chapter two. Uh, the videos that this little boy can't understand will be in the description box. You have, you see his video because a lot of people will see his video. Um, you have questions about anything that I have said, what the Lord have said through me, the videos will be in the description box. Check them out for yourself with the scriptures. Oh, well, they're too long. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm not really concerned for your time as I am concerned whether or not you are of the church of the living God or are you just a Christian? Okay? If you're going to complain about how long they are, and not even going to watch them to see what is being said, then go take a long walk off of a short pier and go and bow down your feet, uh, bow down at the feet of your little man-made masters. Okay? <laughs> okay? Come on now. But uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, uh, verses 12 on to verse 15. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Spiritual things, the Lord that lives within you. Spiritual things, the scripture. 
Okay. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. You know, oh, I, I, let's read verse 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. And go to Jude, Jude, verse 10. Jude does not have chapters. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but which, but what they know naturally as brute beasts. Those things they corrupt themselves. Yeah. And then Psalm 53. Psalm 53. You know, about, about you know, a, a lot of people, you know, say, well, your videos are too long. Hey, fine, then don't watch them. But, you know, someone who's of the upper echelon of the esoteric, such as that little boy is, I find it interesting that an enemy of mine um, would actually, even now, an enemy of mine who will not, you know, talk about the, like, he'll, he'll pick certain things that I say in videos and then not pull, play the whole context of what is being said, okay? That I expect. But, you know, like Frankie Boy. Hey, Frankie Boy don't like me, and I ain't crazy about him either. But you know what? At least, now granted, he'll pick it apart and take things out of context. But at least, Frankie Boy, my enemy, at least he will watch or listen to the video in its entirety. That, that's telling. When you got an enemy who is willing to go listen to the entirety of the video, granted to take things out of context and, uh, and to attack, that's okay. That's what he does. I expect that. Whatever. But when you make false accusations and lie, and don't even go through the entire video yourself with the scriptures, he who answereth the matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him? Hmm? Yeah. yeah. I, I find that interesting. I, I, I do. That an enemy of mine is more diligent to hear something preached than one of the finest of the King James Bible believing Christians out there. Brethren, that, that's, that's, that ought to scare you. That ought to scare you. That also ought to show you that people are more willing to just listen to a man and trust what he says instead of going through the scriptures. Okay? They're more willing to just sit there and listen scare us. It's also very revealing. It's also very revealing. It's also very revealing when someone who attacks does it when those who claim they are don't. <laughs> okay? But Psalm 57 verses 1 and verse 3 Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. Again, O Lord God to whom vengeance belongeth, O God to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. As you've seen already in this video, I've gotten pretty angry and let my temper get the best of me. It's not supposed to be that way. But see, unlike the esoteric, the perfect people that they claim they, themselves to be. Oh, I never claim that. Oh, no, you might not say it. But your actions speak louder than your words do. So sad, too. Truly, I mean, it, 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 it truly is sad. It truly is sad. As you have already seen in this video, I've let my temper get the best of me in a few moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And um, I'm not being kind to this young man because I don't believe he's saved. I don't believe he is saved. I don't. I really don't. Not because he has attacked me, but because of what he believes is not his own. And I don't think he's gotten it from the God of the Scriptures. And hey, if I'm wrong, and if he's up there, you know, at the judgment seat of Christ, when we get redeemed, when we're up there, all will be forgotten. But right now, I don't think so. All right. Yes. Verse 3. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Shelah. God shall send forth his mercy and his word. And now, verses 9 and 10 in Psalm 94. He that planteth the ear, shall he not hear? He that formeth the eye, shall not, shall he not see? He that chastiseth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? And for that, of course, Psalm 139. Psalm 139. Psalm 139, verses 7 on to verse 12. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? You're not going to hide anything from God. You might think you are, but you're not. Everything is open unto the eyes of our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. There are some that say that God has nothing to do with hell. Ah, uh, yes, he does. God is the one who is in control and charge of hell. Not Satan sitting on a throne down there. That's nonsense, okay? If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely, <laughs> if I say, surely, the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Nothing is hid from God. God knows what is true. God is truth. Okay? He is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? The lies that this little lying boy has said will be revealed. He's a liar. He is a liar. He is a liar. And he's full of pride. And he's lying because he is full of pride. That's why. All right, now let's read on to verse 12 on the and 13. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. At our best state, we are altogether vanity. What is man? We're nothing. All flesh is like grass. We're dirt. We're dirt. We're nothing. I'm nothing. I'm dirt. Who am I? I'm nothing. <laughs> I don't say that because it sounds good. I say that because I know it's true. See, you get these people who have accomplishments, who have accomplished things. And bravo! Bravo! But they hang their hat on those accomplishments. And are really quick to remind you of them. Paul did after constant barrage. Yes. After constant barrage. Paul at the first splinter in his foot. Didn't bring down the fires of heaven on people. Okay. He was willing to like, hey, hey, okay, fine. Hey, you, you got some issues, okay? I'm gonna go over here. You stay over there, okay? Oh, okay, you're coming over by me, okay? Okay, fine. It wasn't until after constant barrage. But see, someone who is in pride and their little tootsies get stepped on right away at the first offense. And 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's continue in Psalm 94, verse 12 and 13. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayst, mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. Ah, chastisement. My pride got the best of me so badly that the Lord allowed me to get uh, have a heart condition. My pride gets the best of me right now. I got a tooth rotten in my head. Pride gets the best of me. My wife and I butt heads over redundant things. Pride gets in the way of things and things fall apart. Until I return unto the Lord and seek Him through the Scriptures and say, Lord, I, I've, I've sinned in pride. Again, you know that in prayer. <coughs> Why do you, you know, you know, he smote upon his breast? Oh, be merciful to me, a sinner. Ah, oh, Lord, your judgments are right and true. I deserve this. I deserve worse. I'm doing better than I deserve. Because I'm alive. I, I have a roof today over my head. I don't know if that's going to be uh, at, the, at the first of the month. I don't know. I don't know. See, I'm still doing better than I deserve. I know that. And I believe what the Lord has said of me in the scriptures. And when I forget. Oh, when I forget. Proverbs chapter 3. And for this dear little boy. Mr. Chasing, boy. Mr. Chasing, boy. Now there's a lot that we don't see. Absolutely, and you gotta give, gotta give them that. But if there's chastisement, that brings a humility. That brings a death to self, not a bolstering of self and rubbing of accomplishments in people's face. Proverbs chapter three, verses eleven on to verse eighteen. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. I wonder where his chastisement is. I wonder. Being a news reporter that he is, having to be in the things of the world. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, which is the fear of the Lord, and the man that getteth understanding, departing from evil. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold, things that you get from the world. She is more precious than rubies. What is the she? Wisdom, like I've told you before. Wisdom in scripture, which is the fear of the Lord, is comparable unto a beautiful woman. Okay? She is more precious than rubies, and all things, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The blessings of wisdom, the fear of the Lord. And of course, Psalm 118. We're going backwards on this one. Verses, and what is this again? Verses 12 and 13. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. Psalm 118. Psalm 118, verses 16 under verse 20. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Any chastening that you go through, and the Lord pulls you through it, that can be of a source of comfort unto a brother or a sister who is also going through chastening. It's like, hey, 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 brother, I've been there. I've, you know, I've, I've let my pride get the best of me too, and. I'll Boy, we don't have the time for me to tell you 
how the Lord chastened me about it. The intricate little details. But if you have the time, <laughs> you know. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. And our Lord is seated on, seated on the right hand of God, right hand um, acknowledged uh, as for Jesus Christ, God the Father. Okay? I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over, on, over unto death. Amen. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. And what gate? That is the way of peace. The way of peace, which they have not known. Why? Because there is no fear of God before their eyes. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Okay? And of course, cross-reference this with 2 Corinthians chapter 6. <laughs> 2 Corinthians chapter 6. <laughs> Paul, the greatest of the church of God, Had a pride problem. And his chastening, we saw what he went through because the Lord told him not to go to Jerusalem. He went anyway in his pride. And yes, the Lord used it, but it wasn't the way that the Lord wanted him to go. Obviously. But uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 4 under verse 10. But in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience in affliction and necessities and distresses. These, these things are supposed to happen. These things are supposed to happen. Attacks, slander, being lied about. Those things are supposed to happen to us. Okay? They are. In stripes, in imprisonments, in tolments, in labors, in watchings and fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love and fame, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness, on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers, yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened. And not killed. And just chasing. And not killed. And sorrowful. Yet always rejoicing. Even so come Lord Jesus. As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, and yet possessing all things. <laughs> oh ye Corinthians. Our mouth is opened unto you. Our heart is enlarged. And of course, Hebrews. Hebrews. Chapter 12, verses 5 on to verse 13. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter, what was that, 3? Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. And if you have a copy of the scriptures, and this is in red words, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Back to Hebrews chapter, five, uh, to chapter 12. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, little boy, whereof all are partakers, all who are of, of the family of God, okay, who are uh, who are saved, okay, and you gotta remember, the book of Hebrews is written for the Jews during the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, where salvation is not guaranteed except for the 144,000, okay. But, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards, and not sons. For
Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Mm. For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure. He for our, pro for our profit, profit, not profit, okay? That we might be partakers of his holiness. Now, no chastening, for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. That gate that we go through with the Lord, that gate that we've already looked at. Okay? Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. When you're being chastened, chosen the scriptures, first of all, you've got to find, figure out why. If you already know why, then shut up, be a man, take it, and pray for the Lord's mercy and get right with the Lord. But if you're not right with the Lord and things are happening to you and you're not um, doing what you need to do in repentance, it's not going to go well with you. It's not going to go well with you at all. And again, to this little boy, where's your chastening? You're a walking razor blade, boy. Nobody can, uh, nobody can uh, stop you, right? Nothing touches you. Because you're you've made yourself of the esoteric crowd. And you're that quick to rub it into people's faces, you snot nosed arrogant little punk. You need you need a good whooping, boy. You need a good whooping, boy. Okay? <laughs> and uh, verse 14 in Psalm 94. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. And inheritance. Inheritance. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Okay? It is written, If we deny him, he will deny us. That is not talking about salvation. If we deny to walk according to the scriptures and to live godly in this present world among the lost heathen and upon the uh, and in front of the Christians, he'll deny us blessings. He'll deny us his mercy. Not our salvation. Okay? We are once saved, always saved if we come to him on his terms. But he will deny you his blessing, his grace, his mercy, his kindness. Okay? Those are things that he will deny you if we deny him by not living according to the scriptures. Okay? And if you've ever read the book of Lamentations, yeah. I, uh, I have just recently finished reading the book of Lamentations. I love the book of Lamentations. You know, if ever you, like I've said to you before, if ever you have a sin that you are thinking about giving yourself over to, read the book of Lamentations. What our Lord did to the apple of his own eye. Okay? But, let's not forget this. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 and verse 6. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. This is not the Calvinistic pre uh, predestination okay you go to the Lord his way you are your destination is fixed you are predestined to be with the Lord that's what that's talking about okay according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved the beloved the Jew he has made us accepted in the beloved that we are grafted into the tree of the Jew okay Okay, and also Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 on to verse 20. Okay, you know, there are those of you who are going through all, all 
my dear friend, my beloved brother, is going through things that I myself have gone through with my own mother. He's seen the decay of his mother before his eyes. And I saw that myself. Please keep Brother Alexander Hartley in your prayers. He, he's going through, oh, he's going through. And also my, uh, my dear friend and brother from out northeast who made me aware of all this nonsense. Uh, keep him in your prayers. He's going through. He's going, uh, keep it. Pray for one another. My brother from northeast, southwest, from northwest, from out west, okay, from North Dakota. His physical condition is getting worse every day, not getting better. You know, he went, he went to the physicians, and they're not treating him as he needs to be. They're trying to treat the symptoms and not cure him. Please keep him in your prayers. Pray for him. We need it. Okay? But, Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 and verse 20. Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. That's referring unto the Jews, okay? Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And he is the king of the Jews, okay? We, we're not Jewish. I'm not Jewish. I'm not a Jew. I'm not a Hebrew. I'm of Japheth, okay? But by adoption, I am grafted into that tree of the Jew, okay? We have not replaced the Jew, okay? In whom we have redemption through his blood. Not his flesh. His blood. Even the forgiveness of sins. Okay? Who is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. That are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions. Or principalities or powers. Or things all things were, excuse me, created by him and for him. And the Bibles must have for us up. Okay? And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church. Oh, excuse me, you should say the Christians, right? The church. Who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. And in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in Him should all the fullness dwell. Incidentally, little boy, um, I don't watch your Master, your Messiah. Okay, nor do I watch you. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather watch a dog vomiting than watch you. Okay, just to let you know. Um, so uh, the Lord had me to, to do a video about who was on the cross. And by the way, little boy, um, I get asked questions, and as the Lord leads, I answer them in videos. Okay? Yeah. Now, don't, don't hurt yourself patting yourself on the back there, little boy. Okay? Uh, for, it please, for it please the Father that in Him should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of His cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say, whether they be things in earth, things in heaven. So we are grafted in. And we are once saved, always saved. If you deny him by denying what he says in the scripture to live your life, he will deny you blessings, provision, um, mercy, compassion, not your salvation. Okay? And now let's continue. In Psalm 94, verse 15. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Verses 16 on to verse 18. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Yeah. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. I won't say it. There. <laughs> yeah. There's no excuse for me losing my temper. But that was done 
and you see, you're seeing here, that everything depends on the Lord. Vengeance belongs to Him. It's not my job to get even. Because if I do that, then I'm doing it, not He, not Him. Okay? And if God is going to use a man as a weapon of His judgment, or of a tool of His judgment, the Lord will be glorified. Not the individual. Okay? Who will raise up for me? Who will rise up, excuse me, for me against the evildoers? But who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. If you don't have the Lord, what hope do you have? What hope do you have if you don't have the Lord? When I said, my foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, help me up. And for that... 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verses 16 on to verse 18. In my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it, might, that it may not be laid to their charge, notwithstanding the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me the preaching might be fully known and that all the Gentiles might hear and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. You can that fast, too. You can speak that fast there, little motor mouth brat. It's okay. The Lord is judge. And unto him vengeance belongeth. You lie, boy. You lying through your teeth. The Lord will judge you for that. The Lord's going to judge you for that. Verse 19. Hmm. In the multitude of thy of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Where do we go for that? Oh. Do you not know? Romans chapter fifteen. Like I said, I was uh, I was prepared to find this. Like okay, I was even going to put this boy's name in the title and the, in the description box which I'm not going to do you'll see this won't you you know pretty boy yeah, yeah. Uh, Romans chapter 15 Romans chapter 15 uh, what verse, verse 19 in the multitude of my thoughts within me thy comforts delight my soul Okay, verse 17. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Our Lord is a very present help in time of trouble. Okay? If you belong to Him, He may be chasing you. You might be going through something like, oh, wow, Lord, what? what? <laughs> you know? But if you belong to the Lord, if He is in you, He's there. He's there. He's there with you. And how do you find comfort in the Lord? Romans 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the Scriptures might have hope. I was ready. Oh boy. Oh boy, I was ready. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Praise you. It's not up to me to get even. And I got, I did, I get, got some shots here in this video, which um, I, I'm not apologizing for, but uh, it's 
not up to me to get even. It's not up to me to get even. That's the Lord's job. I was lied about, and I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna bring it out according to the scripture. But as far as getting even, that's not up to me. The Lord is my defense. You lied. And Psalm 23. So we are to find comfort, patience, hope. How? By seeking the Lord in the scriptures. I read that verse. Uh, oh, sorry, Lord. Sorry. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus Christ. I was going to, you know, it's, it's like David. When Naboth uh, was killed. Okay? Uh, when Naboth, yeah, uh, Naboth. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it was when Naboth was killed. Okay? Uh, no, not Naboth. What was his name? Um, what was his name? Um, a son of... Uh, one second. I, I got to find this. <laughs> Nabal. Not Naboth. Okay, excuse me. But it was like Nabal who, when David went to him, it's like, hey, I, I, I looked after your sheep shear guys, your herdmen and whatnot. Didn't do him any harm actually looked out for him. Hey, can you help me out? And Nabal said, uh, who are you? you? You betrayed your king, King Saul. I'm not going to give you anything. David took it upon himself. He's like, okay, fine. Fine, he's going to be like that? All right, everybody, get your stuff together. We're going to go kill this guy, and we're going to not leave him anyone, anybody that pisseth against the wall. We're going to go kill them all. Let's go. What happened? The Lord threw a woman. Uh, Abigail, I believe it was, went to King David. It's like, hey, my lord, hey, I didn't know. His name is Nabal. He's a churlish guy, as his name is. Okay, here, here, here are things for your men. Don't, don't, don't go do this. It's not up to you. And what did David say? This is in uh, 1 Samuel 25, I believe it is. Uh, and David's like, blessed be the Lord, because he sent you that I didn't come and take vengeance for myself. What happened? The ball found out after he sobered up. His wife came and said, uh, you know, David was going to come to kill you. And I went out there and appeased him because he was going to come and kill everybody that pisseth against the wall. Okay, he was going to kill y'all. But I went out there and spoke up for you. His heart died in him. He became like a stone. They believe he had a heart attack or a stroke or something like that, whatever. But the Lord intervened. So David wouldn't have to defend himself. But not defend himself, excuse me. Take vengeance for himself. Okay? It's like that. That's how. Oh. <laughs> That's what we have to remember. That's what I have to remember. And all these these devils are really good at that. Especially the, the you know the guy who constantly changes his channel name because his ways are movable. Uh, very good at irritating people. You know, and see, they do that to get you to go down to their level. And in this video, and you have witnessed it, I went down to that level. And I make no excuse. I don't repent of what I've said of this lost little boy. But I did let my temper get the best of me. And for that, I am sorry. Forgive me. I do not repent about what I have said of this lost little boy. I do not believe he is saved. I do not. I don't. He thinks I'm lost. Yeah, likewise, I think he's lost too. <laughs> okay? So, it works both ways, little boy. But see, I know I'm saved. I know I'm saved. I know I'm going to go home to be with the Lord eventually here. Either if I'm redeemed or I have a heart attack and die might happen in November. Okay? I know I'm saved. Him I don't know about. But there again, vengeance doesn't belong to us. Hi. Vengeance doesn't belong to us. And, you know, when, like in the previous video, um, 
when people are attacking you, lying about you, okay, lying, lying about you. The Lord is our help. He is our shield. He is a very present help in trouble. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Wants are many. Needs are few. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside these still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And we are ambassadors for Christ. We are. How we serve him reflects him. For his name's sake. Not for your sake do I this. But for his. Especially if you belong to him and he lives within you. You're sealed. Okay? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Because if you're without chastisement, then you're a bastard. A little boy. If the shoe fits. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 94, let's finish this up. Verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. The Lord is my defense. And my God is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. You lied about me, little boy. And shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Liars. They shall be cut off. That's going to be it for this little video. Praise the Lord that I did not do the video that I thought I was going to do. But the Lord immediately rebuked me with that Psalm 94. It's like, bad. Our Lord has a purpose for everything that he does. In this video, you saw me shoot off at the mouth and get very hostile. I do not repent for the things that I have said of this wicked little boy who's full of himself and full of pride. I do not repent of that. I do not. He lied. He lied. And granted, I wasn't even the main focus of his video. But see, the way these people operate, they can't leave well enough alone. Okay? Now, this video has been made, and he'll, he'll know about it. Then he's going to make another video. And, and see, and this is what the enemy does. You know? This is what they, they this is their dialogue. Okay? They make a video against you, you make one against them. Back and forth, back and forth, until someone stops. Until someone stops. I recommend that you avoid this little boy. Okay? Hot-headed little punk who needs to get smacked in the mouth and needs to be put over his daddy's knee and have a twitch taken to his rear end. But there again, even though he's got rich parents to fall back on, he does got to make his way. And he may have a wife to be supporting. Maybe even a child on the way. I don't know and I don't care. I hope you're doing great, little boy. I hope everything is going well with you. 
I hope that you're basking in the brightness of your own glory. I hope that you have an abundance of food on your table. That you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to pay your rent this month. You don't have to worry about if you're going to be evicted. You're not going to, you don't have to worry about, you know, if you go to a job, if you're going to have to take a Q-tip up your nose or whatnot like that. I hope everything is going great for you. I hope you, uh, that your God that you serve is blessing you mightily. I really do. I hope it's going well for you. I really do. Hopefully, the true Lord Jesus Christ, God, my Father, knock you off of that little high horse of yours, and you come down and be with the exoteric people whom you have separated yourself from and put yourself up here in the upper echelon. God help you, boy. And I mean that. That's going to be it for this video. On my end... This stops. On my end, this stops now. Okay? I've actually made a few videos referencing this little punk. Um, I have. But it ends now. I, it ends on my half now. Uh, you have questions about what, I, what the Lord has said through me in videos about what this little um, boy is not speaking the truth on, they're in the, the, they're in the description box. Uh, you, you'll need one of these, okay? You'll also need one of these, too, okay? A brain, all right? But uh, not, not saying that you aren't, don't have a brain. I'm saying that, you know, you know, search the scriptures and that kind of thing. But uh, the videos that this little boy has uh, brought up and questioned, they'll be in the, in the description box. Check them out yourself. See them yourself. And let God be the judge. Okay? So. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching if you do. Please, brethren, keep us in your prayers. We need them. We need all the prayers we can get. It's been a bad month for us. Very bad. So please keep us in your prayers. As we, and pray for one another. Pray for one another. Contact your brethren. Pray for one another. Okay? Gonna get this uploaded? Love you. We'll see you in the next video.